Hi, I'm Dr. Brian Thornburg, and this is part two on the development of the baby's immune system. So the baby comes out heavy TH2, very low TH1. What happens normally, the baby will go through life, have skin to skin contact, will nurse with mom, will eventually start to eat some food, depending what the environmental exposures are like. There might be a cat or a dog. That dander is going to also enter the baby's body. The baby might have older siblings, so there might be kids coming home with infections from school. This is going to enter the baby, these different viruses, bacteria, and what all of these environmental exposures are doing. First, it's helping prime the immune system to tell the immune system what is normal in the baby's environment so the baby doesn't attack what the baby lives in. And this is the gradual education process of the TH1 system. Remember, these are the guys that are the hand-to-hat combat warriors. When these cat, dog, a virus, a bacteria enter our body, we want those hand-to-hand combat warriors to go in, evaluate, what do we have to do? They'll send information to other part of the immune system that will then activate cytokines, inflammation, and if it's something that needs to be removed because the body's seen it before and it knows that it needs to be pushed out as fast as possible, then that TH1 is going to send out macrophages, it's going to start to want to eat everything and destroy. But if it's something that's been identified as a food, something that the body's been primed to understand that this is something that we want to let into us for nutritional sake, and then the body will not activate the TH1 system after those items. So the baby's gradually learning how to live in this world through the first several years of their life. That TH1 system basically will start to rise up. So the balance Balancing act between TH1 and TH2 will cause the TH2 to come down, TH1 to go up, and then we have what are called T regulator cells, which kind of make sure that we stay in balance. And so we know from the hygiene hypothesis that those children who are born with older siblings, who attend daycare early, who have pets are allowed to play outside, grow up on a farm, as opposed to kids who live, say, in an apartment building who don't have a lot of contact with the dirt. There aren't animals in the house. They may be an only child. The house is kept very clean. When we have those two distinctions, we know that the child that has more allergen exposure, the one that grew up on the farm, cats, dogs, older siblings, daycare, they have less cases of autoimmune disease. So that's the hygiene hypothesis. The cleaner we stay as the developed immune systems learns to understand its environment, the immune system has to do something. It's what it's designed to do. And if it's not given a project to do, it starts to turn against the body. So those children, toddlers that are growing up in a cleaner environment have a propensity for autoimmune disease. My next video is going to discuss how vaccines alter that progression. Thank you.